What is up guys and welcome back. Appreciate you guys tuning in if this is your first time viewing one of my episodes. My name is Jonathan, AKA Captain Salty. Salty with fishingwithsalty.com. I'm a full-time charter captain here based out of Anna Maria Island, Florida. And today we're heading offshore in the Gulf. I'm heading with one of my good friends, Jeff, and we're heading out for some groceries. We're going out, specifically we're going after some red grouper, but we get some other mixed in species along the way, which is one of the reasons why I love fishing in the Gulf. You never know what you're gonna get. In this episode, we got something special that I've never done a catch and cook on. It's in this cooler, so you're gonna have to stay tuned to the end to find out what it is. <laughs> oh, dude, that's a good fish. We are out here, guys. I would say first light, but that would be a lie. <laughs> it's way before first light. And we're at our first spot offshore. Got a nice weather window, came offshore. What do you think you got? Dude, he's digging. Big American red. <laughs> yeah, because the grouper would have quit by now, right? Yeah, we're targeting grouper. Um, see what this is coming up. Had some fight in them. Nice fish. Nice American red, dude. Oh my gosh. What a tank. What a tank. Oh, he's barely even hooked, too. What, the? what a tank, dude. Wow. What a beautiful fish. First fish in the morning. I say morning, it's still almost night, but. Sender? Yeah. Woo. Nice work, dude. <laughs> Dang, bro. Just taking in that beautiful sunrise and I just got hammered on mine. Good fish, really good fish. Almost really good fish, dude. Please be an American, I mean a big, big red grouper. Dude, this is a big fish. You got him turned. Yep. Come on, be the one we're looking for. He kind of gave up a little bit. Oh, oh, never mind. It's a big fish, dude. Am I hooked into you? I don't know. I think so. Big red grouper, big red grouper. Okay. I might be tied into your line, be careful. Big red grouper. Woo! Yeah, baby! <laughs> Let's go! Sorry, dude. I should, I should have been no, around that good. sooner. No, you're good. I'll keep him right here for a second, just see if you can get mine out of that sooner. Sunrise in the background. <laughs> big old fat fire truck. That's a good first one, baby! What a stud. What a stud. Look at that tank. Sunrise is just starting in the back. It's really like first light right now. And we're just getting started. The goal is red grouper, limiting out on these beautiful guys. And it doesn't look like it's gonna be a problem today, brother. <laughs> look at that fish. <sighs> Jesus, that's a good first one, dude. That's a good first one. He's <sighs> heavy. Beautiful red grouper. Sunrise is insane. Dude, John is so cool, bro. I called him at like seven at night, and I was like, dude, I'm ready to, I'm getting ready to crash. Um, are there some of that ballyhoo? He goes, oh, let me see what you got, man. I go, no, no, it's cool. I don't want you to drop what you're doing. He goes, oh, I'm going out there right now. And he goes out there and he like just cranks in and starts pulling stuff out of the freezer. That's his. He's just so into that, that's the, you know? That's the kind of guy he is. And yeah. That's, that's what, I mean, it's hard not to love a guy like that, right? The chance to help somebody is like what he lives for. <laughs> yes, dude. There he is. Oh my goodness. Let's go. Let me know, okay? He's uh, not. How's that net he's, is? He's not like the last. He's not like the last one. Okay. But I think it's the right one though, because he kind of gave up on me now. Another beautiful red grouper. We're gonna let this one go. We're going for bigger. Yep. I can't believe. Wow, dude. Oh, there it is. Been hooking up. Been hooking up. Same thing. Some American reds. Been Ooh. getting some some red grouper. Nothing significant, but. We're hooking up pretty much every drop. We'll see if this guy looks looks like a keeper. 
sure is fighting hard. Not a big one, but. Whew! Right, Ton, species. Tons of those, right? Species, wrong size. Oh, there we go. There we go. You're in. You're in. <laughs> nice sunrise in the background. Doesn't feel terribly big. He's feel, looking mm -hmm. heavy. He's looking like a lot of head shake, though. Oh, really head shaky? <laughs> Might be American Red. Yeah, look at the round watch. Oof, oof. I was saying, those hits that I got down there were pretty aggressive. Yeah, he's pretty, fighting all the way up here. But you never no, know. No, American, dude. no, that's a, that's a red grouper. Yeah. Nice one, too. Yeah. Nice job. Bring him up. You got the net? Net job. All right, so if you're wondering what we're out here using, we're just over 100 feet of water, by the way. A lot of people ask that question. I don't mind giving it as long as I remember it, <laughs> to give it while we're out. But when I'm fishing the bottom, I love the Shimano Trinidad. This thing is an awesome outfit. I love it. I got it paired with this, uh, I think it's a yeah, Crowder rod. 60 pound fluorocarbon, simple knocker rig. It's what I fish a lot out here in the Gulf. And these are dead, dead goggle eyes. About they really drop. get the grouper going. Man, they are getting them going. They, I mean, they're, they're liking, they're liking that stink. Well, just drop down the light tackle rod. Just a little tiny thread herring on the hog ball. He's... What is that? Little baby amberjack. There must be structure nearby. Off the bottom? Is that an amberjack? Is that a rainbow? No. Not a rainbow. It looked like a rainbow, kind of. A yellow down the side. Is that a rudder fish? It might be a rudder fish. That might be a rudder fish. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I think that is a rainbow. What do you guys think it is? Comment in the comments below. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look it up on the fish rules before I throw that one back. Let's see what that is. At first, I thought it was a baby amberjack, but I don't think it is. It looks like a, it might be a rainbow runner or like a rudder fish. It's the right species. Not sure how big. Fighting oh. like the right one? There's a little more fight out of him. Yeah, Red grouper. grouper. Yeah. Let's drop that light tackle. Well, now I'm ball. dropping a livey down because I'm gonna see. Cool with that? Yeah, we're on the wedge. Scamp. Look at this American red I just got on my white tackle. Nice American red on the hog ball. If you're wondering what that is, that's what a hog ball is. Got a vent, deventum. That way it goes down and back home and live to see next season. There he goes. Off to live another day. Well, you just got a red grouper, so I'm thinking this might be another red grouper <laughs> immediately. <laughs> red grouper, baby. Come on, baby. You know, like 90%, I tell this to my clients all the time, like 90% of the time you eat grouper at a restaurant, that's what you're eating, yeah. red grouper. Yeah. Came out to a wreck, first drop in the vertical jig. Oh my gosh. <laughs> He's big. Dude, that's a big one, dude. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, shit, look at the rod. Dude, that's a it's big. A stout rod, too, bro. Dude, that's a big boy, whatever that is. It was up in the column. Yeah? yeah. I just got to wear him out on it. I'm putting my arm. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> Here we go.
And he goes, that's a big boy. <laughs> that's a big boy. That's a big boy. Dude, it's been so long since so I caught an amberjack that it's actually exciting. First drop at the wreck. I hit the bottom and then came up pretty good real fast and you got a good. And this is what we get at the wrecks. <laughs> nice work. Nice work. <sighs> Golly. That would have took 15 minutes on that other ride. Oh, no doubt about it. Nice, beautiful colors on those guys. Ah, that's awesome. They do. Spinner dolphins. These Man, we had an absolute blast in this episode. Me, I hooked up with this last red grouper, which is my limit for grouper for today. So now we decided to head back in. Jeff went home with his fish, and I took mine back to the house. But this is what we got in the box, baby. I know this is what you were waiting for. I mean, this is a little special moment. I've never done a catch and cook on these, but we have, we have obviously the red grouper here, but we caught a banded rudder fish, which I had to look up while I was out there. So if you commented that correctly, if you commented that correctly, good on you. Uh, this is a banded rudder fish. As you can see in this picture, I put a side-by-side -side comparison of what an amberjack looks like next to him, but they do look close, so you gotta be careful when you're out there. This is not like a paid promotion or anything like that um, for, oh, for, for this, for that matter. Toadfish um, sent me a nice little knife here I'm gonna try out today. But not only that, um, but Fish Rules. Fish Rules is a good little application that you can have on your phone. What I like about it is you don't need service, um, but you're able to select where you're at and it will auto populate where you're at on the app itself. Fish rules is kind of like if you're out in the water or you have a question about a fish or you want to look up a fish, whether they're in season or not, not sure how reliable it is, whether they're in season or not, but at least to identify fish, it's a good application. I have it on my phone and maybe you can get it on yours. I'll put a link in the description below for it. Like I said, it's not an advertisement or a paid promotion or anything like that but it was handy because that's what can help me confirm that this was a rudder fish. So, with that being said, let's get into it, baby. Let's fillet this fish up. I'm gonna fillet this one as well as the red grouper really quick, and, and then we'll get into cooking. Maybe I'll cook them both. I'm not, sh should I cook them both? Should I? I'm not sure. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll cook them both. But yeah, this is a beautiful fish right here. Um, I like to fit, feel right along this top of the head um, you can kind of see where the meat goes um, or see where that meat line goes. And I like to run my knife right along that. Always good to have a sharp knife, um, especially when filleting a fish you, you haven't filleted before, which I actually haven't filleted this fish. So this is not like a tutorial on how to fillet these bad boys. This is my first time. And I'm just going to go right along this backbone. They have a firmer, uh, nice firm meat to them. But you just follow that backbone just like that and you just kind of run run the knife. It, it, honestly, it's like most fish, honestly. Like, you just kind of, I like to let most, the majority of fish, the, just the bones kind of guide you as you go, but it makes it pretty simple, honestly. Um, but you just kind of go right along those pin bones. Just let the knife guide. Good stuff. Nice, beautiful filet of meat right there. That is, I don't think I could have done better for my first time. That's, that's pretty darn good. And that's nice meat right there. Nice, thick meat, beautiful color to it. And I think that color, I got that color because of how I process while I'm out in the water. Um, really good thing to keep in mind. It doesn't really matter what you're targeting out there, at least for me. It does not matter what fish I'm targeting. I'm always bleeding my fish immediately when they come in the boat. I like to bleed them out, and then I like to put them in an ice bath, which consists of ice and salt water. Like It's like a salt water brine is what I like to use. But these flays are coming out beautiful. Oh man, these, these knives are pretty sharp. This is the mid-flex, high carbon. Good knife. We'll put these in a separate bag off to the side. 
so obviously we know which one's which. And I'll put that right on top of the ice in here. There we go. All right. Now we got a beautiful red grouper right here. Same thing, guys, for any fish, like I said, you want to follow that line, you can kind of feel where the meat goes. And you just come right up under here. For grouper, I highly recommend a super sharp knife because their skin is hard to get through sometimes, I'm telling you what. But kind of guide it down. And what I like to do with the, with the grouper is you kind of see where this dorsal is. And then you use that to kind of back, to backtrack. Go like that and then go the opposite way. Just like that, straight down that dorsal, just like that. You can kind of, it, it almost, it guides it for you, really. I mean, as long as you let the knife do what it's supposed to do, as long as you have a sharp knife, let's just say. If you have a sharp knife, the knife will do the work for you. And I'm not sure if you could see that, but I'll show you that, a closer detailed shot of that how you can kind of guide right down that back, right down those bones. You want to see those bones on that side. And then they have a nice big spine. So you kind of angle it down a little bit, right? And then you kind of push right through the bottom like that. And you just follow it all the way down. And then for this fish specifically, because uh, we tend to flay red grouper a lot, you want to, you want to kind of Break through this upper right here. Kind of come right over that rib cage. Bam, look at that. Beautiful fillet. And you could you could kind of shave this out right here. Super easy to do. I mean, as long as you're using you're just letting the bones guide you, it's super easy to do. You wanna what you wanna do is let that let that skin now guide you and keep that knife nice and flat. And I, I use my left hand to kind of wiggle my way through this like this. And it almost helps you, it assists you. you just, as long as you keep the knife at an angle, you're gonna get that beautiful filet because you don't want the knife to separate from the skin because if you let it separate from the skin, then you're gonna take more of your meat away. But as you can see on this skin, you can see this on the skin, there's, there's no meat there, which is great. That's exactly what you're looking for. Nice fat grouper filet. That's the difference in the, in the two in terms of like, that's kind of how I normally filet right there. Where the rudderfish, that was my first time filleting one. So that's not, this is not a tutorial on that. With that being said, now we have the two meat types. We have the grouper, we have the rudderfish. We're gonna go, we're gonna actually cook a little bit of both kind of do a side-by-side -side comparison. Stay tuned. Great job, Daddy. Thank you. You did like a blow. Was that a good job? Yeah. Well, come give me a hug. Don't get the fish on you, though. Come here. Thank you, my love. You're welcome. That was sweet of you to say. That was a great video. Got the beautiful bags of fillets. Got the red grouper right here and we have the rudderfish right here and what i was going to show you with the rudderfish that i looked up little research very interesting ready i just typed in rudderfish eating and what came up was that rudderfish is actually compared to swordfish in cobia which is awesome because i love both of those fish i mean who doesn't this is pretty cool. I wanted to show you guys before we dive in to this cooking segment of this episode. Thanks to Mystery Tackle Box, I think, Catchco. Um, somebody sent me this, I believe it was them. Um, so I uh, already pre-opened it, saw some really cool things in here, but thought it was really neat that they decided to send this to me. This is not a paid advertisement or anything. Uh, little apron that it came with, little booklet. Uh, comes with, I mean, they sent me knives, Dexter knives. I mean, I think these are like oyster knives or something. Yeah, oyster knife. Pretty cool stuff. Tons of stuff in here they sent me. Fish out of the water, oh, barbecue. I mean, that's what I'm talking about. 
Um, slap your mama. This is really good. It's kind of like a Cajuning, uh, Cajun type seasoning. And this, I'm actually really excited about. I might use this for the grouper. Um, garlic signature spices, and we are actually cooking on a Traeger, so that's gonna work out perfecto. But anyways, thought it was very cool um, that they decided to send this stuff to me. So shout out to them, Mystery Tackle Box Catch Co for deciding to send me that. That was awfully nice of you. And actually, you know what? It's gonna work out pretty good because I actually need a knife right now because I'm about to clean this fish up. This is a little mustad knife and she's sharp. So we're just gonna go ahead and, and use that. I'm gonna pre-clean this really quick. Clean that off, just came in the mail, so you never know, but hey, nice little knife. I mean, I could use that for cleaning. I mean, a little prep, little, little fish prep knife ain't bad at all. But what I heard about these, uh, what I heard about these rudder fish guys is you can actually eat these um, raw. They're like amazing for sashimi and stuff. So that is what we're gonna be doing with the, with the rudder fish. Super excited about that, but we're also gonna cook that grouper on the Traeger. Um, as you can see, there's a pretty dominant bloodline. So I like to come in with at an angle like that and just kind of take out the majority of that bloodline, if not all of it. And that way you can really see that the, that really starts taking a beautiful color to it. And the more, the more blood line you get out, the better off, in my opinion. See here, we got two beautiful pieces of grouper. This grouper is, it's literally perfection. I mean, it doesn't, I don't know if it gets any better than that. Nice, thick, beautiful fillets, perfect for the grill, which is what we're gonna be using to cook this. We're gonna be using the Traeger, like I said before, and we're gonna be lightly season this um, and just throw it in the grill. I feel like the less seasoning you have, the better off you're gonna be with fish. That way we could really appreciate um, how good the fish actually is. I mean, this fish, straight out of the Gulf. Amazing, amazing fish to eat. Nice white meat, flaky meat, and uh, it don't get much better than that. No, there is zero, I mean, most, most of the time people say that it lays the worms and grouper. I have not seen one worm in these grouper, which is fantastic. But that's that. These are perfect, ready to season up. Garlic signature spice. It's like a blackening. We're gonna have some blackened grouper. Had to break this little seal off. That was a little tricky a minute ago. We're just gonna blacken it. And you know what? I'm not using any oil, nothing. I just want that blackening season on there. And we're gonna use that. And I'm just gonna rub that in, just a dry kind of blackening rub. Gonna really absorb all those pieces of that garlic. I love garlic on any fish, I just love garlic. Um, but that's nice and seasoned right there. I like to season one side. You don't have to season both sides. It doesn't have to be smothered in seasoning. Come on now, baby. You wanna taste the fish. So that's ready for the grill. Speaking of grill, we gotta turn that bad boy on. So let's go turn the grill on. We're gonna be drizzling some special sauce on that bad boy. And I can't wait to show you what that is. But this Traeger is so nice, I got it plugged in here. You just basically just turn it on here. Let that thing fire up, turn it to what? That's just so nice and convenient. To 400, anywhere near that 400 marks fine. We're gonna ignite, let that baby fire up. We'll be right back out here. As I was preheating, as you can see right there, it says a little pellet level low, so about to fill that up. If you're wondering what kind of pellets I use, I like to use cherry. Not all the time, but I switch it up sometimes, but this is a good one, kind of for a little bit of everything. Pretty simple. You can even do it while it's working. Just kind of pour it right in here. Yeah. 
And I got great news, baby. We are at temp. That bad boy's at 400 degrees, which could be perfect. And this is ready to roll, baby. And I know you love my spatula. <laughs> Look at that. Grouper, what's, what's, what I love about grouper is that even though it's fish, doesn't even tend to stick to the grill when you're grilling it. And I didn't put it, I didn't put a thing on it. All right, as that fish is outside on the grill, it's about to be wrapped up. I cooked it about three or four minutes on each side. Doesn't take long. Beautiful white flaky fish. But this is the sauce that I'm talking about. It's actually a dressing. It's a mango vinaigrette and it is absolutely amazing on salads, whatever you want, but I use it on fish and it's absolutely delicious. And actually, I have a special someone with me right now. I just got home from school and she is gonna be our professional test taster. So we're gonna go grab this fish, bring it back in and do our test tasting. Now we have our amazing blackened grouper, whoo, mango vinaigrette, little lemon lime can't hurt on any fish. And we have our rudderfish sushimi. It has a light drizzle of balsamic glaze on it. Dip it in a little citrus soy, and one of my favorites, a little heat wasabi. My beautiful daughter, Sailor, is gonna come in here and test it. When I told her that there is sushi and fresh fish, she was so excited. So she's gonna be the test taster today. And I'm me and her about to chow down on this. Are you excited, baby? Yeah. All right. Dig in. You take a bite, whatever bite you want first. You take a small bite and dip it in the sauce or however you want to do it. And that tastes good. Whoa, you like the grill and grouper? Yeah. Now, believe it or not, guys, my daughter is so into sushi. She loves sushi. We eat, we actually go to a place and eat all we can eat sushi, don't we, baby? Yeah. All right, so she'd be a good judge of this. Go ahead and take a bite. Tell me which one you like. And I like that better. You like the sushi better? Yeah. Do you think everybody should subscribe to Daddy's channel, baby? Yes.